The following video is a tutorial on how to set up the AG DVX200 from Panasonic. The first section will be on how to properly set up the tripod. This will be followed by how to set up the camera, as well as many of its functions and buttons. After this, we will focus on audio and how to set up a lav mic for use with the DVX200. Finally, we will take a look at how to set up the lights and what many of its functions are. The tripod. Take the tripod out of the bag and spread its legs out to create a strong, even base. To adjust the length of the legs, use the clips on the side. Remove the tripod camera plate from the tripod head. Setting up the camera for use with the tripod. Take the camera out of the bag. The camera batteries should also be located in a side pocket of the bag. Make sure to check the battery levels on them to ensure that they are properly charged up. The battery compartment is located at the back of the camera, underneath the panel. This can be opened at the top. To place the battery inside the camera, make sure that the arrow is pointed towards or inwards of the camera and slide it in the back. To remove the battery, open the cover back up and use the battery ejection button and pull the battery out. Next, take the camera base plate and screw it into the bottom of the camera. Make sure it is properly tightened. You can use a flathead screwdriver or I commonly use a nickel from my wallet. Make sure that the tripod head is properly balanced before placing the camera on it. As you can see here, Using the level meter, the bubble is not in the center of the circle. As you can see now, the camera head is perfectly level. Next, slide the camera into the tripod by using the plate. Make sure that it is fully secured. You know that it's secured in the head when you hear a click. Also make sure to tighten the head at this point. To make sure that the camera is fully secure, tighten it down by using the screw on the side. This screw has a ratcheting feature, which allows you to tighten it even if the camera gets in the way. If you so choose to, you can also attach the tripod arm, which should be located in the bag. You can also adjust the angle of this arm by loosening it and moving it to an angle that is more comfortable for you. To tilt the camera, loosen the tripod head's tilt lock located on the right side. This tripod also features a fluid head tensioning system. This changes whether the tripod is stiff or loose. The pan lock is located underneath the camera inside the tripod head. This tripod also features a tensioning system for the pan control. Setting up the camera. The first thing you should check on the camera is that you have SD cards. The Panasonic specifically has two SD card slots. You do not need to use both of them, but it's a good idea as one can be used as a backup or to create proxy footage later for editing. The lens cover can be opened at the front of the camera using the small lever. The camera power button is located on the right side. On the left side of the camera is a rotating display that can be pulled out. The DVX200 features many buttons and functions, which we will go over now. 
At the front of the camera is the focusing ring. If you so choose, you can disable manual focus and use autofocus by using the focus selector. The focus assist button creates a magnification zone inside the display and also uses focus peaking to help with manual focusing. Located behind the focus ring is the zoom ring. Located here is the manual versus servo function switch. If you enable the servo function, you can use buttons on the side to zoom instead. Behind the zoom ring is the aperture control ring. The aperture control ring adjusts exposure and depth of field. You can also change to auto exposure using the iris button. The DVX200 also features ND filters and other functions that I won't get into at the moment. Towards the bottom of the camera are your white balance settings and ISO settings located under the gain control. Behind the ISO and white balance settings is the shutter control. If you are in manual shutter mode, you can adjust the setting by using the dial on the left hand side. Behind that is a switch between auto shutter and manual shutter. Setting up the lav mics. In each lav mic kit, there should be one receiver with an XLR input and one transmitter with a lav mic attached to it. The receiver should be plugged into the camera. In this case, it is plugged into input 1. Make sure to secure the receiver. I like to use the camera strap on the side of the DVX. The on and off switch is located underneath the battery cover. Make sure to do this on both the transmitter and receiver and also check that your battery levels are sufficient for your shoot. The audio control is located on the left hand back side of the DVX200. In this case, line 1 should be set to microphone, channel 1 should be set to input 1, and the channel 1 gain control can either be in auto or manual with the dial controlling the gain for manual. Make sure to test your lav mic before recording you can see if it's working or not by using the display. Setting up the lights. Carefully take the light out of the bag. Plug the power supply into a wall and then plug the DMX cable into the right port on the back of the light. Don't accidentally plug it into the left port as this is used for daisy chaining multiple lights together. Your light should be working now. Make sure to yell sparking before blinding your actors by mistake. To see the light's values, navigate to the light section in the menu. The dials on the left and the right control how much blue or orange light is put into the light system. As you can see, adjusting the orange and the blue settings changes the color profile of the light. You can also dim the light by using these same dials. 